Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube and I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can use the sneaky input to move your sprite on the screen. Now sneaky input is basically a joystick, on-screen joystick um, and you can use it to basically you know project a joystick on an iPad or iPhone devices and uh, you can use it to move around your objects and this is that is what we are going to do. Um, I'm using a level helper and this is our level it just consists of one single sprite it's a koala so if I run it right now over here you can see um, that the koala is just you know standing and not doing really anything so the first thing we need to do is to add a sneaky input uh, code or a sneaky input framework now I'm using COBOL 2D uh, here's the COBOL 2D uh, libraries and it already has a reference to the sneaky input so I don't really have to do anything if you are not using COBOL 2D starter kit uh, you what you can do is sim simply go and download the sneaky input files and move it to your folder and use it in that way the first task for us is to load the level now I've already have some code uh, that will allow me to do that so let's actually copy that code and you have already seen that code multiple times if you have been following the previous tutorials so here it is okay so this will initialize the world basically our level is called level uh, 3 pay special attention to the casing you have to say level 3 just as it is it is case sensitive so let me run it again and now this time uh, you should see that the level is loaded and here we go uh, let me minimize the screen so that you can see so here's the level it's on the iPad and you can see the koala over here but you don't really see a joystick displayed right so that is the first thing that we need to do I've already created a couple of controls with this which is this sneaky input joystick which will allow us to uh, basically move the character up, down, left, right and diagonal positions um, and I've already refer referenced to the sneaky input joystick, sneaky button and sneaky joystick and all that. So when you're creating a joystick just like a real joystick if uh, which I used to use a very I mean, long time ago, a joystick has a base on which the joystick is attached and then the buttons has a base that on which the buttons are attached. Now most of the joystick of the previous days uh, the, there was a single base for the uh, for the, the handle or the lever and on the same base the buttons were uh, you know attached but in this way I mean in, the, in this joystick on the sneaky input joystick, joystick the joystick will have a different base and the buttons will have a different base all right so let's set up the joystick and uh, let's do that it's running pretty slow and here is the code I'm just gonna drag and drop the joystick code so that you can see what's going on and let me go ahead and let's go ahead and explain this first of all we are going to create a base for the joystick on which the joystick will be plugged into we are going to position the joystick at a particular position uh, we are using the background sprite now this can be a sprite uh, we are just using a concentrated circles we are going to use two circles one will resemble the base and one will resemble the actual joystick uh, and this is basically we're initializing the joystick okay and finally we get the joystick into our own variable and add the joystick on the screen so let's go ahead and uh, call this function and see what actually happens uh, this will be setup uh, joystick and uh, we're going to call it like this well, it is running extremely slow so let me run it again and see if the joystick is actually being displayed on the screen to resize it again and again so here we go so we have the joystick 
and you can uh, you can actually move it as you can see it pretty much is like a real joystick that you are already familiar with right but if you move the joystick you can see that the koala is not really moving it's not really doing anything so how can we do that and it's pretty simple so first thing we need to do is to we need to access the events uh, and the best part is that we can access that in a tick event which is fired pretty much every time the game is going on okay and we can say over here if the joystick dot uh, velocity dot x is greater than zero then we can have our koala um, which we can actually get it from uh, Uh, let's see if we have to we have to load the koala to load the koala we must have the the name of the koala the unique name that specifies the koala so and this is I'm just using level helper it's a very good software if you are uh, building physics enabled games koala I'm just gonna load the koala sprite with unique name and I think the name uh, the unique name is koala okay so this will allow us to load the koala into a sprite. And now at this point, what I can do is simply say uh, koala and then uh, transform positions, CG point make. And then I can say koala dot position dot X plus uh, one. And then the, the other, the Y variable will pretty much remain the same position dot y okay so let's go ahead and run this and see that now if we are moving our joystick to the right hand side where the velocity actually increases it also should move the koala and here we go and you can see that as I move my joystick on the right hand side we can see that the koala is moving and if it is moving on the left hand side you can see that the koala is actually not moving cool right but now we also have to move the koala in a different direction so we can say else if uh, joystick dot velocity dot x is less than zero which means that the koala is now moving on to the left hand side and then we can say transform position CG point make and then uh, koala dot position dot X um, minus one and then koala dot position dot Y okay so let's run it again and now when we move our joystick to the left hand side you will see that the koala is actually moving on to the left hand side so here we go first we will move it on the right hand side and now we're moving on the left hand side now the problem is uh, right now you can see is that the koala is just going reverse so when it is going on to the left hand side we should actually move the koala head in that direction so and this is pretty easy because when it is moving in the right hand side we can simply say uh, koala uh, dot uh, flip x equal to no which means that it's not going to rotate along the x-axis and then koala dot flip x equal to yes let's go ahead and run this Let me reset. I have to reset again and again. So here we go. So we are moving, and you can see that now it changes its face to the left and right. And it's pretty simple, right? It's moving its uh, face for, uh, left to right, the direction basically where you're actually moving. If you do like this, the koala is going to go crazy. Uh, but even now, the koala is actually moving. It's not really walking. It's kind of sliding through, right? Uh, and we will fix that in the next tutorial in which I will show you that how you can perform animation on the koala using the joystick 
and with the help of the level helper and the sprite helper tools that are available for you in the Mac App Store. Uh, so stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial. Thank you very much.